Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena and thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be on my handmade hats that I've been making. So I started making hats last year. The first one I made was for my daughter's first birthday. It was a theme. The theme was um, vintage tea party. So I made a hat and then after that, I continued to make hats because it was a sewing skill that I've always wanted to um, I wanted to, I've always wanted to acquire and grow. And so after my first hat, I wasn't too satisfied with it, but I wanted to continue. So I'm going to show you guys my hat collection. And then I'm going on the side, I'm going to post a picture of me actually wearing the hat and the hat style. And as well as I'm going to have in the order that I put them on the screen, I'm going to have the patterns listed below. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my hat collection, starting with the very first one. This is a cotton sateen hat. Um, it has a little peacock feather adornment to kind of cover up how the crown was put on because I did not like the way that it was. And um, I was pretty disappointed with it. And so it has like kind of like a graduation cap. So this is the front and this is the back. And this was hat number one. This next one is a 1940s hat. I also made like a little bag belt to go along with it. It is lined with flannel and has a red ribbon for the headband. It's super cute. Um, I wore this one with my Jodapur, no, my britches outfit, and you'll see that on the side there. This next one is a reversible beret. So you have flannel on this side and then on the other side I have a black, what is this, a black faux suede. The next one I have is a prototype, it's a self-drafted prototype and I really, really, I really like this hat. Um, so this is it right here. The I tried to stiffen the lace, but I've, I've used like a stiffening solution several times and this is as stiff as I could get it. It's a bridal lace. The inside is lined with a cotton. We have a gross green ribbon and then a little strap to hold it on. And this is my, this is this, I think this is the second hat that I kind of freestyled and made my own pattern for. This is the first one and it's a half hat. So I have like, it's lined with a poly cotton. It is a wool blend. And I have like a little wig comb to secure it to my head. This is my first wire framed hat. And this is from a Vogue pattern. And this one is unlined. It didn't actually have a requirement for lining. It's made of a cotton sateen, and then I'm handmade all these satin ribbon flowers. And I also have a comb located right here. This was probably one of the most difficult ones because of the wireframe. I had my husband help me with this one. Next. I have one of my faves. I think this was a Vogue hat pattern and it is it has like a little ribbon that you can take out and it ties around the neck. And I did it out of a tartan ribbon and then it's also lined with satin. I really like to line my hats with satin so that it doesn't pull on my hair. So if you see a lot of them being lined with satin, I usually use whatever is left over. So um, I try and get as close to matching as possible, but um, sometimes I just make do what I have since it's the lining. This is my Valentine's Day pillbox hat. 
and I actually am not too proud of this one. I made it during my first trimester and I was so exhausted, like I could hardly like focus, but I wanted to get a hat to go with my outfit. So this is the Valentine's Day one. It's adorned with a couple love me, forget me nots, I think they're called, and lined with a pink satin. Next is a hat, which I have to replace this with actual millinery net. I just couldn't find any, so I used tulle. But this is made with like a coat material. It has a bow that ties in the back. Also lined with satin. And again, I am going to replace this part. But this is a hat to go with the dress that I wore over the winter. Another... This one's a Christmas hat. It's a 1940s style hat. I made this little brooch to go along with it. I put it on a pin so that way I could take it off. It's a ribbon brooch with a button for the center. It's aligned with a, uh, what do you call this satin? This is a crepe back satin. And then I also have a little clip right here to secure it. This is another, did I use? I use the wire frame for this, but this is the next difficult, most difficult hat that I've made. Yeah, definitely. This is my first time doing like beaded embroidery. I really, really like this hat. It's so cute. Here is the back and the inside is a, um, well, the ribbon that I had, cause I do, when I make my hats, I try and use whatever I have laying around as opposed to constantly buying stuff. So the ribbon, the headband ribbon is a bit too wide for this, but it was it's lined with like a floral cotton. And this is my New Year's half hat. It is made with a satin, a crepe back satin. Then we have some pom-pom trim. I did have to cut it off because it was it went all the way around and had to cut it off. Then I used a little bit of, I didn't think, I don't think, I think this called for a ribbon headband, but I didn't have any. So I used, uh, what did I use? Bias tape, sorry, <laughs> baby brain. But I used bias tape for the headband portion. And then I used a piece of boning to keep its shape. It called for a bicycle clip, whatever that is. And all my research, I couldn't figure out what it was. So I was just like, oh, we'll just use some boning. So that's what I did. Now this hat, um, a lot of you, if you're a new subscriber or if you follow my Instagram, you know I made this most recently. It is to go with my maternity dress and it is lined with a cotton it was supposed it wasn't supposed to be made like this the lining wasn't supposed to be it's supposed to be a headband but i was not trying i didn't want to use up a headband like use up ribbon if i knew that i could kind of avoid it so i did it where i flipped it inside out and so this is the hat this has got to be my all-time favorite hat i love this hat so much and this is also lined with satin with a gross green ribbon headband. It has a satin bow with a lot of top stitching on it. It has like an asymmetrical brim. This is so cute. I love it. This is my favorite hat. And this was also made to go with a maternity outfit. And then I have two half hats. This one. Here is a little cute little leopard print and adorned with a bow and a button on the bow to match the the suit that I made it to go with. So the suit has these buttons on it and so I use that to go with it. And then we have this white one that's the exact same one and then I kind of made this little pearl beaded brooch thing and this is actually attached. And I was storing this with some pink gloves that kind of stain the satin so i'll probably try and like get the stains out but it is sort of stained pinkish i'm gonna try to get that out and i forgot to say that this was made it's aligned with 
uh, leftover, what was this, scrap flannel and a faux suede. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I absolutely love making hats. I think it's the best scrap busting little project um, you could do. It also helps me challenge myself and practice my hand sewing because I'm not very strong in that area. So I hope you guys enjoyed my hat collection. I can't wait to like make more so I can do another video like this. And um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Please like and subscribe and share this video as well as follow me on Instagram at Sorina underscore and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.